let us look at how do we write an answer to this question. This question was asked in uh, uh, UPSC IES Economics Optional Paper 1 in 2022 paper. According to Harishman, unbalanced growth can be through social overhead capital or directly productive activity. So the idea is that you should be writing uh, in brief what Harishman has said about uh, the development path. And then you should tell in case if you invest through social overhead capital, how development is going to take place. If you invest through directly productive activities, how investment is going to take place, telling very briefly about what is social overhead capital and very and what are directly productive activities. It was a small question of 10 marks to be answered in somewhat around 150 words. So let's start writing it out. So Hayashman has categorically said this, that if uh, you're looking at the development in LDCs, in, in less developed countries, then idea should not be to develop all the sectors simultaneously. Because if you are going to miss, if, if you're going to do a mistake of developing all the sectors simultaneously, then you will fall into the problem of not having enough investment for any sector whatsoever. So he says this, that you try to create imbalances in the economy, unbalanced group. How? You try to pick up few sectors and concentrate upon them. And then through, through the development of those few strategic sectors, the other sectors will also start developing. That was an idea in brief. So he said this, that you purposefully in a pre-designated fashion, you try to create imbalances in the economy. And then those imbalances will spill over to the other sectors as well. That was an idea. So there are two kinds of uh, investment you can take up. You can take up investment in social overhead capital and you can take up investment in the directly productive activities. Let's look at what do you write for social overhead capital. So if you try to create imbalances in social overhead capital, what will happen? See, social overhead capital could be a capital such as uh, roads, railways, irrigation, power, communications, all of this you and I cannot develop. Government is responsible to develop them. So he says that if you develop these social overhead capital first, then eventually what is going to happen is that the other private entrepreneurs can start developing their own businesses also. If you have enough roads, then private entrepreneurs will think, Okay, fine. Now we can open our business. We want to take up our uh, uh, our goods from one place to the other. We can easily take that. If you have proper communication, again, the businesses are going to be uh, functioning well. This is going to be useful for the business. Uh, so similarly, so what will happen is that the development of social overhead capital is eventually going to lead to the, the investment in directly productive activities. Now you'll ask that what are directly productive activities? Directly productive activities are those activities which are directly going to add to the flow of goods and services. Now roads themselves are not going to add to the flow of goods and services. But what you and I will develop as private entrepreneurs that is going to add to the flow of goods and services. You with me? So now what will happen is that if you develop you take up that development path in which the development is through the imbalances in the directly productive activities. Then what will happen? Let's have a look at that. So I've told you about the investment in, uh, in the economy through directly productive activities. What are these directly productive activities which are directly adding to the flow of goods and services, which you and I as a private entrepreneurs are going to produce? Now, supposedly, if the, if the economy starts with developing directly productive activities first, without developing social overhead capital, then there can be some problems. What problems could be? So, supposedly, if I have, I want to open up a restaurant and somehow I open up a restaurant, we don't have enough roads. How will people come to me? We don't have proper communication. So, if I want inputs, how will I order them? And because the roads are not there, how will I get it? I've opened up the restaurant, but the power cut is a lot there. 
we do not have proper power systems because government has not invested much in the power systems how will i develop i mean how how will how will i grow so if the economy takes up that path of developing the directly productive activities first then because i will be frustrated i will be sort of pressurizing the government later yeah you have to give me the social overhead capital uh, so the there is going to be the pressure on the government later on political pressure on the government that you you provide me with a social overhead capital right so in conclusion <clears throat> you can just write that there can be both the ways you can you can you can develop through directly productive activities you can develop through social overhead capital but the smooth functioning is through development of social overhead capital first and then directly productive activities but in case if you take up the path in which <clears throat> you are developing directly productive activities first and then social overhead capital then there is going to be the problem the problem is in the um, in is in the form of that there will be a lot of pressure a lot of strains in the economy right so you can just conclude it writing like this so if you invest in social overhead capital the path is going to be smoother but if you develop through directly productive activities there is there are going to be pressures right there is the path is going to be full of pressure full of strains etc now the point is that uh, <coughs> the point is that of course this is a small answer this is not the complete model yet but the main points have been given so it all depends upon the marks of the question and how much you will have to write of course any answer is not the best answer you can always develop it always uh, uh, make it better so i've just given you a few points and you try to make the answer better right beta chali thank you beta